بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دا سیکنڈ لیکچر آن لیٹیکس اینڈ ہیئر وی ول بی ورکنگ آن اے تھیسس ٹیمپلیٹ آن اے ڈاکومنٹ ٹیمپلیٹ دیٹ آئی ہیو کریٹڈ فار یو گائز سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ ورکنگ آن اٹ آئی ول جسٹ اوپن ٹیکس اسٹوڈیو اینڈ ہیئر آئی ہیو مائی فائل نیمڈ نو ہاؤ آن مائی ٹیکس ٹاپ سو لیٹس اوپن اٹ دس از دا فولڈر and i'll be uploading uh, this folder for you guys so that you can work on it and now here i find the thesis text file okay i'll open it so what do we have over is a code that's uh, a latex code uh, latex uh, you might say uh, this is not uh, such a programming language that we call it code but uh, this is what that will lead you to uh, writing some uh, kind of document or everything so what i will do is that i'll just run it for you so that i can explain it uh, turn by turn everything to you so i've just uh, compile and run now uh, let's wait for the document here is the document and uh, i've made this template for you guys so you can have a look uh, this is the page number 1 there are 16 pages in the document and what do we have over here is that your title of the thesis goes here so whenever you want uh, that you need to check or change something in the original document what you do over here is first of all you'll run the document and run the code as i have done over here and then you have a pdf like this in front of you in text studio i'm using text studio and make text i have already explained its installation and configuration in the previous video you might look at it now what we have over here is i have opened a template over here and uh, this template is uh, like this now what we are going to do is we are going to understand that how how are we going to change the margins the lines the images everything so uh, let's start by the margins uh, how do i define the margins of the paper uh, that's all in this thesis document that we have over here i have selected a document class 11 uh, points uh, that's the size of the uh, text that we are writing over here and then the paper size a4 paper and then i'm using some packages that we are going to use in the document uh, you'll be uh, more familiar with these packages once you try to play with the Uh, latex so uh, what we have over here is i have a 1.5 inch margin on the left a 1 inch margin on the right a 1 inch margin on the top and a 1 inch margin on the bottom so what do we have over here is that this document the whole of the document is not going to bypass these margins that i have set over here in this line so whenever you want to change these margins you can just put in something like i have put one over here and i'll run it and whenever i run it it will be uh, saying process started uh, and then process exited normally so you can have a look over here that the margin on the left side has decreased so i'll just put it back over here 1.5 and run it back and you'll uh, notice a change in the margin on the left side of the page so that's here and uh, now moving on title of the thesis goes here so what do we uh, know about the titles and what do we uh, need to change over here is so i'll just click on the title of the thesis goes here and right click on this go to source and you see that this highlighted a line over here which says huge text bold font title of the thesis goes here if i need to change this title i'll just write my thesis and we'll just run it and see if it changes our title or not woohoo my thesis over here so that's what we need to do in the whole document okay that's uh, so i'll just change it back title of my thesis goes here now what is this begin figure and figure and and the input image dot uh, xyz dot pdf underscore text this is your university logo you need to change this logo uh, whenever you need to write your document your thesis so you need to change this logo over here this is a xyz i have put it in over here but you need to change it over here so i'll just go to the source 
and you see that this is the line that is written for the picture so what you need to do is you just change the file name and the extension with your original file name and your extension where is this file I'll just show you it says that uh, open uh, xyz.png okay so we'll go and you see this is where we are xyz.png I'll show you its properties it's a PNG format uh, picture C so this is a PNG format picture and I've pasted it in image folder so whenever you need to open a picture you'll just paste it over here you'll change its name and and the name would go over here so that would change the picture for you uh, but be, uh, make sure that you choose your university logo not this XYZ so I'll just close this xyz.pdf.x now what you need to change is your name over here I'll just I just click on it and it zooms it out for me so where is the name I right click on it and go to source and here is your name I'll change it to know how and just run it you see by know how and then registration ID then goes your supervisor name and then department name university name city country and the date whatever you need to do you don't need to panic you just need to right click over here go to source and change the things over here that will uh, change uh, the document for you once you click the build and view command so moving forward what do we have next these are the things that you need to change in the title pages uh, like code supervisor name supervisor name registration IDs and uh, what is your field and your degree your master of science or your bachelor of science that's all on you here goes the declaration page uh, that can vary from uh, university to university institute to institute or organization to organization but uh, here we have is uh, I have a I've pasted a general declaration for you so you'll just paste your name over here and your title of the thesis and then uh, you'll uh, change uh, the degree and titles and the institutes wherever I've written the XYZ it's for the institute name department name and then you have uh, your name and registration ID over here you need to sign it at the end of your printing tasks and then we have a copyright notice copyright notice can vary from uh, university to university institute to institute but that's a general uh, format of the copyright notice that I have obtained over here so you can just change the values uh, by just clicking go to source and you see here is the copyright notice that I have written for you guys so you just need to change the names of your university and department and uh, we'll be fine over there then this is the declaration page I'll just uh, zoom it out uh, this uh, this is, is dedicated to my beloved parents so that's all that you need to write and you can uh, dedicate to anyone else your wife your children your sisters your brothers anyone here goes the uh, it's the next page of the thesis here goes your abstract you can mention the keywords and you have to write your abstract over here where go to source and here here you'll write your paragraph your abstract whatever you have in your abstract it's normally a one paragraph page one paragraph uh, material so you'll paste it over here and here goes your abstract and your keywords then are the acknowledgments they should be mentioned over here if any and if you don't have any uh, acknowledgments you just need to delete this code you'll delete it and this page will vanish out okay so if you have any uh, acknowledgments you just need to mention it out, mention it out here uh, that's a simple task you just need to go to source and you can do this with any of the uh, templates any of the templates that you are given to you you just need to make sure that your text studio and your make text are configured in the best possible way and you have downloaded a good looking template so what do we have over here is uh, the table of contents that's a automatically generated table of contents guys I've not done anything to generate it I've just pasted a table of contents command and here you can see new page PDF bookmark and here goes the table of contents if I remove it it automatically removes the table of contents page but uh, you need to have a table of contents page in all the 
uh, thesis that you have so you'll just write this command and it will write the table of contents according to the definitions or and the and the headings that you have in your document next goes the list of figures I'll just click on here and here's the list of figures and that's only because of this command I've nothing I've done nothing to write it over here except this list list of figures command and then goes our list of tables and here we have command for list of tables and the list of tables goes over here so you don't need to do much in latex latex uh, usually programs and uh, formats things according to your choice automatically now we have on the next page list of abbreviations and symbols so we'll go to source and here is the list of abbreviations and symbols I can change the headings I can change the abbreviations heading and here we have acronyms that you use in your uh, latex document in your PDF and uh, normally I've written an example it's a TV it's given item TV that writes it like this and then we have television written over here like this which will uh, give us output like this so MRI magnetic resonance imaging and where uh, and here we have MRI magnetic resonance imaging so that's pretty much simple I guess we'll move forward and here are the chapters and if you see the document has ended over here there are no chapters so where do we write this I'll go to source and you see chapter one dot text file it's a different text file that I've made for you guys so you'll just do nothing but uh, the chapter name is introduction I'll go to the course in your code and here we have the chapter name that's written as introduction and then we have uh, section headings subsection headings you uh, should remember one thing that this section and this subsection is actually giving the information to the table of contents page so whatever I write section and then section 1 heading then subsection and then subsection 1 heading this is basically what that I'm writing a heading over here and also giving my information to the table of contents page so here's the first reference that we have over here is and we are using Sai Bruno Smith uh, if I go to bibliography commands and all that uh, stuff and uh, that would be a pretty much video long video over here so I'll just uh, skip this part and uh, I hope that uh, you perform these tasks you know, which I've already mentioned once we are done with these things and you uh, are able to write these things will uh, move to the bibliography and uh, the other things uh, today I'm teaching you about uh, these uh, section headings and whatever you want to write in under these section headings here we have a picture that we need to paste in the second section or in any section that you want so where is this picture located here goes the code begin picture begin figure this H means here and we are including graphics width is equal to 0 0.5 of text width this means that uh, our image size should be 50% of the text width I can show you that we can decrease its size by writing 0 0.2 over here and, and we'll just run it and see what's the output process started you see the picture has decreased in size so I'll just put it back as 0 0.5 over here so I'll run it and you see uh, the picture size that we have over here has returned back to its original bigger one and the caption of your figure goes here and you can see this is the caption I'll just I've just written it down for you guys so that you can have a uh, pretty much better idea of the, the document or when you whenever you're writing with uh, latex so that uh, this template will help you a lot in writing your uh, normal uh, thesis templates and whatever you can use your own templates too on the same uh, on the same uh, path on the same track that I'm telling you guys so this is a section subsection 2 and anything you want to write over here it goes over here so you just go to the source then we have the chapter 2 and I'll go to the source I have a different file for chapter 2 again and the chapter's name is literature review so what you need to do is you just need to change your equations your sections I'll make a different uh, video on how to write these tables 
on how to how to write these uh, equations and how to write these multi-line equations uh, what's the difference in them and the bibliography commands so I guess it's uh, already a pretty much long video about the template and uh, um, latex uh, document that we have over here I just need to show you that where do we have these chapters you see these are the chapters over here so the the total the all uh, template I'll be uploading it in the description below so you just need to have a look over it and uh, try performing all these tasks that I have given you uh, in this video and we'll be moving forward to bibliography equations and uh, the tables in the next video inshallah uh, until then take care of yourselves Allah Hafiz